Hey everybody, in this video I want to talk to you about the Janome HD1000BE and the BE stands for Black Edition. This is the same exact machine as the old standby HD1000. It's in the white version. It comes in the vintage black. This reminds me of my grandmother's sewing machine and the antique look to it. But the function of the machine is just the same as it's always been. A good, strong, heavy-duty motor, plenty of stitches that's useful, and other features to the machine that you'll find very handy. So feel free to take a look at the video and we'll go through the highlights of this machine. The HD1000BE has 14 stitches built in. You'll get the four step buttonhole built in, your straight stitch, zigzag, and I can regulate the width on my zigzag stitch. You will have the elastic stitch, you do have blind, stretch blind hems and your standard blind hems. On this particular machine, I'm able with the stitch cam that's built into it, I can adjust my stitch selector over to SS, which stands for stretch stitch, and I'm able to convert the standard stitches over to stretch stitches. So if I want to do a stretch stitch here, this is a straight stretch stitch. It sews two stitches forward and one in reverse, it's automatically back tacking for me. Then I have a double zigzag, or what's called a rick rack stitch. This is the old timey feather stitch or the briar stitch used a lot in quilting. And then you have some overcast stitching, blanket stitches built into the machine. It's very easy about pulling up stitches on this particular machine. If you'll notice on our stitch placard, everything is lettered. So if I want to do a straight stitch, I just put on B. If I want to do my zigzag, then I put it on C, and then I'm able to adjust the width on that particular zigzag. And then here I can adjust my length very easy from zero to four millimeters with no problem whatsoever. Threading the machine is very simple as well. I do have a dual spool pin on here, so if I wanted to sew with a twin needle, I'm able to do that. But everything is really going to be channeled like most Janome machines from one thread guide to the other, and the manual that comes with it is very clear. But we're also here to help you should you have any questions. And let's make sure I get to my corresponding thread guides. And then on this machine, I do have a needle threader that's built in to thread my needle, threads front to back. I will have extra high lift under my presser foot, and the feed dog system that's built into the machine can handle feeding up to eight layers of denim with no problem. Then you can go down to very lightweight material, and it's going to be able to feed those materials as well. I do have an accessory tray that's built in, so I can easily get to all my accessories at any given point, but this will remove off of the machine and converts my machine over to a free arm. So if I want to sew a pant leg, a shirt sleeve, I'm able to get that over the the arm of the machine to be able to sew it and then I can easily assess my bobbin area and get the bobbin out to re-thread the bobbin case on the machine. It's very easy about pulling that in and out. I will have a drop feed lever on this machine. So if I want to put on a button, that's what I use this machine mostly for is putting on buttons when I drop my feed dog or if I want to do some free motion stippling on a quilt, you're able to do that as well just by easily dropping the feed dogs on the machine. I do have a ruler built on the front to help me measure off things. This, this goes on very easy. As we were talking earlier, this, this machine is a heavy duty model. I'm able to sew heavier materials. Like We'll go up to eight layers of denim, which is basically going to be the side seam on a pair of blue jeans. I do have that extra high lift under the presser foot that I can get the materials up underneath there. And I'm going to put this on straight, uh, straight stitch and let's do say three millimeters. It easily sews through that material. Then I'm just going to stop. Then I'm going to grab a standard cotton that I'm going to go right off to. Very quiet operation. Go to the stretch material. Do have reverse to back tack with. There's a little razor on the side of the machine. So I've went from eight layers of denim to a cotton to a stretch material and there's no puckering. I'm not going to have to adjust my tensions. It's very rare that you it's very rare that you're going to have to adjust the tensions on the machine. Let's sew a little bit heavy material. Let's say that you're wanting a number one of the number one calls we get on the heavy duty machines is really can it handle doing a poster material? So let's say I want to recover my boat seat or truck seats, make something like that. This here has a backing on, it's kind of spongy. So we're going to do a couple of layers of that, which is typically what you're going to do on a seat of that type. And 
The machine is going to easily be able to sew through that. There are several models in the heavy duty series. We carry all of them here at Ken Sewing. We've been a Janome dealer for 50 years. We offer support after the sale so that you have a question on how to use the machine or you think you're having a problem with your machine. If you're being in front of it, give us a call. I have four technicians at our store. We're here six days a week to help you. But if you need help with a, a certain feature on a machine, I want to make sure that I get a certain a stitch on a machine or need a question answered, by all means, drop us an email or give us a call.